Najamtian police and municipality officers say that they have had enough of encroachment on the new beach in Najamtian. Hi everybody, I'm Adam. It's TPM Media on the last day of April the 30th, 2022. First off, we hope you're having a great weekend. Let's get into a local story from earlier this week that you might have saw in our news. The footage that you're watching shows local municipality officers from Na Jam Tien removing various tables, chairs, stands, signage, and other equipment that they say are encroaching on Na Jam Tien Beach. This is a portion of the beach in the southern area that has been expanded to allow substantially more sand and beach area. Now, this eventually is planned to take place throughout the entire John TM Beach all the way to the end. Currently, this area, for anybody that's been down there, seems to be pretty barren. Now, this is on purpose, as officials say that there has not yet been made decisions on what will happen with this area. Now, there are plans to put in trees, to put in seating, to allow limited umbrella vendors and other amenities in the area. But they're not ready for this yet. And meanwhile, people keep trying to, according to authorities, encroach in this area. Currently, they stated that they are waiting for the election for Patia Mayor, who still oversees the Najamtian area, which is expected to take place on May 22nd. Once a new mayor is elected, they hope that one of the first things that will be resolved is the issue of what will be done in terms of the rules for the new beach in Najam Tien. They hope that they'll be able to find an agreement between both tourists, who many of them, especially Thai tourists, have expressed that they would like to have the option for food, seating, umbrellas, and shade, but at the same token, they don't want the area to get overloaded with dozens and dozens of umbrellas, food vendors, and other people that may encroach on the beach. Now, currently, there is an exception being made between about 6 o'clock p.m. and midnight to allow food vendors and limited seating from nearby seafood restaurants on the beach. This is a temporary exception. It has only been given at night in limited areas. This is also not going to be a permanent plan according to the municipality officers but right now their major focus is to make sure that there is no blocking during the day the biggest concern especially in the very southern end of this beach is that the roadway is very limited and there's also limited to no parking Meanwhile, with vendors and others parking in and around this area, it makes the area even more convoluted as more tourists, both domestic and foreign, return. For now, the daytime party is over, according to municipality officers, and we will continue to keep you updated on any changes that may be made to this beach in the near future. As always, we thank you for tuning in. We hope you've already liked, followed, and subscribed on YouTube, or depending on where you watch. Take care and have a fantastic weekend.